Yeah, hi friends. This is Leela. Welcome to my React JS course. In this video, we will try to do the HTTP POST request in the React JS. So by adding a POST. Okay, when we will create a button here, so that if we click on that button, we will show a form, add POST form, and when we add the data into this one, so automatically the POST should be added automatically here. Okay, so let's try to do implement this one. So now what we need to do first is first what we need to do is we need to add a button that is nothing but add post or create post whatever it may be. So the button we will try to create. So let's go to the post.js. So this is a post.js right. In the post.js if I go here, here we are showing the post data and what I will try to do is I will try to create one div. Okay. And here in this div I will add one button href is equal to like this create post okay and here i will be having a class name here i will be having a class name is equal to pg hyphen blue blue hyphen 600 px hyphen 2 ui hyphen 1 and text hyphen white that's it i think so now we have added a button now let's try to see the output so here it is coming down so what i will try to do is we'll try to convert this one class name is equal to flex okay so class name is equal to flex this has been converted so now this one will uh, this will come side by side now what i need to do here flex what i can do items okay item siphon center and another one will be justify hyphen between so now this is the thing so now how it will become so yeah this went to the that side so right side corner it went so now when i click on this create post button it has to show the form down here now what i will try to do is i will try to create a new form that is nothing but the add post so here i am creating a new file that is nothing but add post dot js so let's try to create functional component here add post of props we will be getting props this is the thing and here i need to return so div create post form okay we need to create the post form now here let's go to the post.js and here we have written right now i will try to do so what i will try to do here at the bottom okay let's say at the bottom div now here i will try to remove one, one extra div okay class name class name is equal to my hyphen 3 i will give some gap so that here i will try to add add post okay so ha i have added the add post here now let's try to see the output so now we have we are able to see the create post form so here you, you will be able to see the create post form so, but now it is visible here so now what i need to do whenever i click on this button i need to show this create post form for that what we need to do we we what we what we'll try to do is we'll try to add one variable that is nothing but is add post okay is add post so first one will, first time it will be false okay so now when it could be first time it could be false means what i can write here the condition is something like this dot state dot is add post right so here ampersand ampersand i can copy this one and if it is true only then show this form okay so first time it will not show the form fine perfect when i need to show the form when i click on this create post button so now let's go here what i will try to do here what we, what i can do, do is so here is this one right anchor link on click okay on click is equal to so now what i can do here this dot on add post click okay so this is the or otherwise on add post handler you can add the method on post handler so let's go here and let's write this on add post handler is equal to and here what i can do is this dot this dot set state of so we are having is add post right so this one i will make it as a true so if i make it as a true automatically what will happen 
here if i click here i am able to see the create post form so now what i need to do so here what i need to do is in this add post.js i need to create a form so here let's try to create a form here i will write some h h1 okay create post so i'll be having the create post firstly we will create a com uh, form okay so now here what we got we can do is font hyphen bold text hyphen to excel so now here what i will try is here here i will be having a form and here i will be having one div so class name is equal to mb hyphen 3 so why i am creating the form means so for example if i want means i can directly paste the total html directly why why i am pre, why i am typing all this form is you will you will be able to understand how i am writing and you will be able while practicing you will be able to uh, easily grasp these things okay so that is the reason i am creating the from scratch from scratch onwards so here class name what i can write is so border okay border hyphen gray hyphen as i already told you we are using the uh, tailwind css so here i can take this one and here i can write here we can if you want you can add the placeholder is equal to title this is a title and this one is a text area right i can do description okay so i can copy out this one and i can directly paste out this one sorry try to paste here this is a text area right so here i can add the text area so class name is equal to what i need to write so same thing so border border iphone something like this i can paste it okay so we have added here and in the same scenario div class is equal to sorry class name is equal to mb hyphen 3 and here one button button type is equal to submit and here create post or something whatever you want you can keep the name create post and here the class name will be bg hyphen purple hyphen bg hyphen purple hyphen 500 okay text hyphen white and what i can do here so px hyphen 3 py hyphen 1 so i have created a button also so we are able to see the form and here what we need to do is class name okay block we need to give it as a block so that it come down so it here yeah. now let's try to see the output so here if i try to see the output so if i try to refresh this page and i am clicking on the create post i am able to see here but this one is not that much of clarity right so what i will try to do is so here what we can do is this is the class right so here we will try to take the half of the width now if i paste for this one also take the half of the width let's try to see how it will look yeah it's somewhat looking better and if we try to write the height if you want to mention the height you can mention it so but i am writing here placeholder is equal to description okay the tailwind css benefit is this one only so we need we need to implement each and everything see here for the for the text box we are not able to see the padding if i am writing means so we, we are we are not having any spaces between them so if you want we can mention directly here p hyphen one or something like this okay if you want you can mention for this text area also p hyphen one so now if you observe so what will happen see so the gap has been given so this is how we will be creating the post form so now we have created a post form here so if i try to click here create post i am able to write the create post okay so now what i can do is so now what we need to do as this one is a what we can say functional component so let's try to create two variables that is nothing but the title and set title sorry not set timeout set title is equal to use state of so first time what i will try to do i will try to give empty and another one will be constant description and set description okay set description is equal to use state of empty so first i am using the empty here so now what we can do we need to use this one here in the place of value value is equal to title and for this so text area also value is equal to description okay so there is no need to use the 
this dot like this. Why? Why? Because this is a functional component. Now, if you try to see, if you try to refresh this one, you are you will be not able to write anything. Why? Because this one is tightly bound to the state here, state variables here. So, if you write anything here, so the description, so those those things will be automatically visible. Okay, but we are not able to write anything. Okay, what we need to do? So we need to use the on change operator. So that is nothing but a controlled what we can say control component. So here what I can write on change is equal to so what I can write here on change is equal to I can write something like so I will get an E and here I can write set title okay set title of E dot target dot value okay so now in the same scenario what I can do here I can copy this one and for the description also what we can do e uh, on change is equal to set description this is the set description okay so now if you try to see the output how it will be let's try to see so i have refreshed this one so now i clicked on the create post okay the default values so here if i am writing whatever i am writing yeah, we are able to see we are able to see the data and also we are able to save the data in the respective title and description variable also so let's remove these all default values so that now the form will be empty now what we need to do now uh, we got the data so now we have the data what we need to do is we need to submit the data to the to the axios call so we need to make an axios call with the available data so what we need to do so here on form what we can do is on submit okay we need to call on submit is equal to on create post okay on create post or whatever the method you want you can do so this is the method and here what i can do is here we can write a function here directly so on create post is nothing but so here you need to maintain the data so if i do console.log okay title and if i do the description also we are able to get the data so let's try to see the output here and what we need to do we need to take the event and we need to stop the prevent default in order to stop the form submitting so now if you try to see the output here in fact if, if i go to the console and here if you see the console here and let's try to console it and here you i am writing the data and if i click on the create post see the whatever the data I have submitted here title in the description i am able to console it in the inspect element okay so now in the next video what we'll try to do is we'll try to take this title and description and we'll try to make a post call to submit the post data into the database and also what we need to do what we'll try to do is we'll directly try to show the data after complete after successfully completing the uh, adding this post we'll try to show it here at the top okay let's try to do it in the next video if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you